G'day guys, how are you going? So this is the final video for, I guess, the update 9.20 when it hits the patch. Uh, this is all the content that's gonna be in the patch. And, and this time we're gonna have a look at something that's uh, that's one of the more uh, interesting, but probably my favorite, in fact, feature of this entire patch, and that is the new Grand Battles. Now, the whole concept of the Grand Battles is it's a 30 by 30 uh, huge kind of a random battle I guess that's on a 1.4 by 1.4 kilometer map so it's a bigger map than the standard um, about five I think what it ranges between 500 or something to a, a kilometer a square kilometer map so this will be quite a big map as well but it will have something for everybody but anyway guys let's get straight into exactly what you can expect when you play a grand battle so getting straight into it guys you have a 10% chance of playing on a grand battle and you need to be playing in a tier 10 tank and the reason that they're doing both of these things is because they just want to test it out in the uh, live server as it goes on to see what the player feedback is because it's such a big um, new map it, it's quite a large content um, so they want to make sure that the servers can handle it that the players computers can handle it and that people actually enjoy it they have had issues in the past where they've introduced game modes for example like the old historical mode where they would put Russian tanks against German tanks and that kind of all went to shit so um, I think it's a pretty uh, smart move to kind of introduce it gradually into the game so again guys you don't have a very high chance of getting into the game and even if you do you need to be playing tier 10 tanks and also guys if you do have a weaker computer don't worry too much I guess because you're not going to be able to get into these battles by default if you have or if wargaming or the world of tanks client detects that your computer won't be able to handle it so um, if you if you think that your computer won't be able to handle it then don't stress you don't have to play it if if it won't work um, because as they say here it's going to be like a turn-based game just because of how big and how expanded everything is it literally is a random battle but double the size and of course with this kind of gradual implementation they're only introducing one map and that is called Nebelberg I guess it's based on some Russian area, I'm not too sure, but effectively it allows for 60 players to be able to maneuver around it with quite a lot of ease. You can see here as well in this kind of interactive, and it's pretty cool, uh, 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 I guess, infographic by, by Wargaming. This is the map itself, this is what the map will look like in the minimap form, and you can see that there are three points where you start on each side of the team, and it will be broken up into, I think, 10 tanks starting on each, which makes sense, it's divided into thirds. And um, I think this map has a bit of everything for everyone. There are flanking points, there's a city for the really heavy, super heavy tanks to go to, and there's this medium point here for light tanks and, and medium tanks to be able to go and take that. And I think that if you can take this little ridge area here, then the, uh, then the game will almost certainly be one for you guys. I've only played a couple of games on this tank, but uh, on this map, I should say, but with the knowledge I have from playing it, I know that it kind of gives something for everyone. And as I said in my overview video, you can get to these positions um, and or get to these kind of positions that you could have gone into uh, a long time ago when there wasn't that tank destroyer nerf with the camouflage and like just do the role of the tanks. So for example, if you are a tank destroyer, you can snipe without getting spotted, etc. So I think that this is a really uh, nice addition to the game. And I'm sorry I can't show you more gameplay. It's just I don't have the ability on my client to be able to show you guys. That's a bit disappointing, but um, I'm sure you guys, if you aren't on the Asia server, then every other server out there will be able to see exactly these games. And, and, and you can see, guys, that they are quite a lot of fun. Now, as I said, guys, the spawn locations, there's three on each side. There's nothing too um, exciting about that. Uh, I guess spawn points aren't really my favorite thing to talk about, but uh, as you can see guys, again, it's just pretty much just a giant random battle. The objective is destroy the whole enemy team or to uh, capture the base, it's that simple. Now, with the balancing, what they're trying to do is they haven't given a, uh, I guess, a number of how many like light tanks and medium tanks and heavy tanks and tank destroyers will be on each team, but they said that they're gonna be very, very similar across each team. So you shouldn't be seeing more of one vehicle than the other. They should be almost identical. And they're limiting the artillery to four artillery pieces, which is still quite a lot, but I guess, I think they limit it to three or something in random battles, which is a smaller map. So I guess you can't complain too much. You're, you're gonna be seeing less of artillery, um, which is good in my opinion, because I really don't like artillery, but for some people, let's get rid of this stupid notification. For some people, they're gonna be, you know, they'll enjoy it. Now, in order to kind of make bonds more relevant, you can actually get, um, Oh, well bonds by playing grand battles as well and depending on how much experience you get will depend on how many well, well sorry will we'll make it so that you can get more or less 
uh, bonds. I'm, I didn't say that quite right, but it's a linear relationship to put it to, to put it into particular terms. So, you know, if you get 3,000 experience, then you can expect 296 bonds. And if you get 400 experience, which is the minimum amount required to be able to get a bond, then you get four bonds. And I guess this is good in the sense that it makes getting bonds more relevant. I personally have never used the bond system. I haven't playing, played ranked battles, but it kind of ties in ranked battles with grand battles and I'm sure eventually it'll go into random battles as well so it'll make everything um, rely on each other and it'll make everything more relevant to play and you know ranked battles etc will be more relevant so I think that this is a pretty uh, good idea as well um, and there's also other things like you can complete personal pers uh, personal missions in the mode and earn medals however um, earning medals will be a little bit more uh, difficult as well so um, it'll actually make doing like those heavy tank 10 missions that'll make it easier so I think that that's a really good thing um, uh, to be able to look forward to in this in this in this grand battles patch um, and with the medals here you can see that to get a top gun you need to get eight or more kills as opposed to six or more kills in the rat in the standard random battles you need 10 to 12 kills to get the Radley Walters medal instead of eight or nine in the random standard battle in the standard random battles you need to get 13 to 20 kills to get the pools medal um, whereas in in random battles you need to get 10 to 13 in the standard battles and the uh, you need to get 21 or more kills in random battles to be equivalent to 14 or more kills in the random battles which be, which would which it would be absolutely insane I can't wait to see that coming into the next patch but anyway guys overall I'm really happy with this patch with, with the and the introduction you know of the grand battles and also the um, how it ties into ranked battles I think that it's going to make the game um, more fun I think adding new content new ways to play is always a good thing I have been getting a little bit bored to be honest of random battles and although this is just a random battle it's a much bigger random battle and I've always wanted to play with more enemy tanks on my team and on the enemy team so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how this will perform when I play it when the ping crisis finally ends for all us Australians and some Asian and countries in New Zealand so um, let's praise that that will be fixed soon but anyway guys thank you so so very much for watching this is the final video for the update 9.20 review so I'm sorry I bombarded you with this content but um, hopefully you guys did learn something about this new patch anyway I'll catch you next time